Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Now you might think a branch guard is somewhat boring and insignificant until you hit that branch. The branch guard has a particular reason to go on a product and Chris is going to show us how to put it on. Chris. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's branch guards, both a low profile and a high profile size that are designed to be affixed onto Whelan's strobe and LED beacons. The units themselves are a one piece, actually two piece at the factory before they're welded together here at the four points. Again, welded at the top here to create a nice structural heavy duty X impact point. And what these will do is not only dress up your strobe and LED beacons, but they'll offer you some additional protection for beacons that see branches, debris, that are used on brush trucks, command vehicles, mining equipment, or even just your basic DOT equipment, dump trucks, tractor trailers, rollers, excavators, what have you. So I'm gonna give you a look at the low branch guard and the high branch guard, how they affix onto their strobe and LED beacon counterparts. So go ahead here take a Whelan 2022 low strobe beacon, remove the two screws that affix the dome. Let me go ahead, get this out of the way here so you can get a better view of the screws that I'm taking out for you. One there. And one there. It's a simple process. Take your branch guard, line up the two mounting holes with the holes in the beacon dome. Set it onto the polycarbonate base there. And then with the two screws that you had just removed, go ahead, reinsert them and cinch them down. So you can see that the branch guard, again, is affixed with two mounting screws, one in the front, one in the rear. As far as profile goes, it's nice and tight around the beacon, some spacing between the top and the Xing here. So if it does take an impact, there's spacing here, so that way your material doesn't hit the top of your dome. Protection 360 wise all around it. And also the base here, you'll notice, isn't within the dome's optical beam point. So basically, the bottom of your branch guard here won't have any impact on the light output that your beacons produce. So low version here. I'll go ahead, put together a high as well for you. The nice thing is, with Whelan's beacons, all the domes, be them strobe or LED, are simply removed with two screws. Screws removed. If you do want to take the dome off, take a quick look inside and make sure everything's good to go. You can. So again, line up the dome with the screw holes. Same thing with the high branch guard. We'll line up the holes in the unit, front and rear. Match those to the screw holes on the dome. and the second screw as well there. So again, space between the branch guard top and the dome top. Nice protection all the way around it. No protrusion from the bottom of the branch guard into your beam optics. Nice and flush against the dome itself. I'll go ahead, turn this blue unit on here, which happens to be one of Whelan's 2022 strobe series.
So as you can see, the minimal size of the branch guard itself doesn't have any impact on the light output from the beacon. Again, nice and bright from the top as well with protection there. So what I'll do, go ahead, move this one aside, take my branch guard from my 2022 low strobe beacon here and put it onto one of Whelan's L21 LED beacons, just to show you how they fit the same way on both types. So I'll take this here, remove the two screws, take my branch guard off here, just going to go ahead, put this aside, don't worry, I'll put it back together later on. So I'll take my low profile L21 LED beacon here. And this one does happen to be a magnetic, but again, branch guards will fit both magnetic versions as well as permanent mounts. And also for folks that are using magnetic beacons, it's a nice way to add some additional protection as well as just some nice cosmetics to it. Get those screws out of there, low branch guard. Again, line up the mount holes. And we'll go ahead and put those two screws back in to secure everything down nice and snug. And my second screw here. And with that snug down nice and tightly, again, you can see Whelan's L21 low dome magnetic with the branch guard adorned. And I'll go ahead, turn it on here for you, so you can take a look at how the unit looks with the branch guard on it as well. Go ahead, pull some wire free here so I can get to my power inverter. And there we go. Nice, bright amber output. No obstruction around the sides from the brush guard itself. And nice and bright from the top as well. Again, I have here Whelan's low brush guard, Whelan's high brush guard, or Whelan's low branch guard and Whelan's high branch guard, whichever term you really want to call them. Easy to mount, a great accessory to add, again, to both your LED and your strobe-based beacons. Nice feature with these if you have older wheel and strobe beacons, say 2000 series, 2015s, the domes share the same screw holes, so you can use the same branch brush guards on your older style beacons. Thanks for spending some time with me on SirenNet Television. Again, I'm Chris. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate putting on that branch guard for us. Now I know to duck before we hit the tree. I'm Stuart, and again, Thanks for watching Sonet Television.